Hello, I am Joe McDonald and this is Big Max Battle Blogs. Just thought I should do a bit of an update because um, I've been working a lot and I haven't had uh, much time to make stuff because uh, back to back 12 hour days is, is tiring in, in this hot sun. Uh, but yeah, I got a bit of a day off today, uh, catching up with some admin. Um, before, uh, quite a few of you said I was looking really good on my last video and that's because for a week before that I had what can only be described as dysentery. Uh, I know exactly what caused it. There's a garage in Ukraine called Oko and uh, we go there relatively often um, to fill up and uh, yeah, you know, they, they uh, do do like food and I uh, they've just started doing these sort of sort of shawarma wraps at the garage and uh, I thought that was a good idea and it was not a good idea so I lost like seven kilos in 10 days uh, seven kilos in 10 days yeah so that was pretty miserable so there's a little report on uh, Big Max bowels you know Big Max, Big Max bowel blog um, so yeah uh, we st have, have still uh, trying to uh, we're, we're working days at the moment, so we're still trying to like uh, find a bit of time to go to the polygon at night and test out the new fleet of thermals. But like, it's it's really exciting. Uh, we've got some other stuff coming in. Our unit is starting to take drones uh, a lot more seriously, which is really cool. And uh, there's going to be some sort of change in organisation about that, and and more of a focus. On, on you know getting more guys as FPV pilots and drone pilots so that's good uh, seems like some more modern uh, ideas uh, are coming into the army um, so yeah all positive stuff uh, I have spent a lot of money over the last couple of weeks um, I spent five and a half well nearly six grand uh, on some six thousand euros on three sets of proper phosphorus night vision um don't know if you can hear that just some dis relatively distant shelling like probably a mile away so yeah six nearly six grand on three sets of night vision uh and i've been holding off doing that because it's sort of for me and my the guys i work with you know more than for general drones i've been holding off doing that for a while but if we're going to work at night and be able to get to and from position uh, as undetected as possible proper night vision is an essential um, so yeah I put 5,000 US dollars into getting another big heavy lift drone what what we sort of generically uh, or what sort of family of drones get called the Baba Yagas uh, capable of lifting between 20 to foot depends which model but like up to 40 kilograms I've heard um because the, the team we have that's working with that have been achieving really good results so drop five grand on that uh with the thermal drones uh, uh with the thermal fpvs uh so far spent about three thousand five hundred over the last uh month um yeah bought some camouflage that was 50 quid bought some boxes uh like sort of flight case toolbox style boxes so we can you know move when you've got all these like homemade bombs in the back of your car it, it's 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 nice to have them in something that isn't a fucking cardboard box you know uh especially with the prospect like every time you get in a car that someone might fucking crash into you or you might cut some come to a sudden halt you don't want these fucking things flying around. I mean, some of them are impact detonated. So, yeah. Um, so, you know, that was, again, you know, it's, it's very easy to spend a couple of hundred quid here. You know, spent some more money on components the other day that will, like, help us enhance the clarity and distance of, of the signals we're, we're sending out and, and, and that with the FPVs. And, yeah, now, basically, I'm fucking broke. Um... I even ended up dipping into my uh, saved up wages, um, you know, oh fuck, I've got no legs fund by quite a bit. So, uh, so yeah, now, now it's, it's time to uh, focus on building up uh, some, some cash again from you guys donations so we can do like the next big thing. 
um, which at this point is probably just going to be like maintaining the size of fleet of, of thermal FPVs and keeping the Baba Yagas in the air and keep it, keeping the vehicles on the road. You know, they are the three main things. Um, and, and that's pretty much, you know, I think that applies to all aid going to Ukraine. Like if you're, if you're out there and you're seeing some advert from some, you know, advert appeal from some unit in Ukraine that's like, oh yeah, we need help to buy a microwave. Tell them to get fucked and buy their own fucking microwave. Some soldier who needs boots, you get issued boots and they're good boots, right? No one needs fucking boots in Ukraine. No one needs hand knitted acrylic socks, right? That are, are shit. You know, like they're all right if you're like an old lady and you want to wear some thick socks around the house. But for soldiers, boots, marching, purpose of, the shit. So, you know, we don't need shit like that. We don't need fucking people spend people spending money and time sending soldiers little packet, you know, fucking tea bags and stuff. The internet exists. Europe's next to us, you know. Like most of the international guys have got if they really want some Yorkshire, they've got, uh, or or some French fucking coffee or something like that, they've got someone back home who will send them them stuff, or they've got organisations from their own country who might send them that stuff. But I just consider it all a, a waste of resources. Well, there are there are four things that we need uh, to improve things in Ukraine, and it's uh, drones. Um, Opt decent quality optics for like machine guns and sniper rifles. Again, if if the guys want a red dot or a rails kit for their AK, they can fucking buy one themselves. It's cheap, you know. Uh, so yeah, um, uh, decent quality optics, drones, and associated things that go with drones. Stuff for sappers so they can do demining properly, and that includes drones as well. And vehicles, like decent quality 4x4s with drone jammers and good tyres and keeping them on the road. They're, they're, they are the four things that all uh, volunteer donation money should be going into. Uh, and nothing else, right? Nothing else whatsoever. Um, so, yeah. Uh, in other news, it would appear like there's been this rumour for a while... Uh, and, and, you know, like people saying we're going to be Marines, we might be coming Marines. Well, apparently now the 124 uh, Territorial Defence Brigade is now uh, Marines. Uh, or at least we're under the command of the 30th Marine uh, Corps, uh, Ukrainian Marine Corps. I, you know, no, uh, there was an article saying that it's official the other day and that someone from the brigade had sent them photos of uh, our... Uh, a brigade patch and um and and you know this sort of rubber skull with a marine bay barrier on patch which is definitely not the official patch um the other day and you know that 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 proves nothing uh no one's told us officially yet like i've asked an officer or two and they're still they're like maybe but not yet we're not really sure what it means you know, uh, whether it means that, you know, I mean, um, some of our guys have been sent to do some more advanced training. So meant whether it means that we're going to be part of a bigger operation or or we're just kind of going to carry on doing what we're doing. But now on paper, we're Marines as opposed to Army. Um, yeah, so that's the thing, you know. And as I said, quite a few uh, news outlets had done stuff about that before I uh, deemed to mention it. So yeah. Um, so I guess I guess that's about it. Uh, just out for a, a walk with with the doggo. Come on, mate. Try and try and look photogenic. Yeah, well you can see you can see his back. That's you know there we go. There's one sock eating something. I've given up trying to stop him uh, eating bones and shit off the street. You know, my philosophy is that if something happens to me, as it so easily could, uh, he'd be better off with a bit of street dog knowledge. And uh, it's easy, you know, there seems to be dogs that can eat chicken bones fine and dogs that can't. And he's definitely a dog that can. Um, so, yeah. Um, oh, anyway, uh, it's goodbye from me. 
Joe McDonald at Big Max Battle Blogs, and as always to our pro Russian and Vatnik listeners, Idina Hoyzalupa.